in bold white letters words you may not expect to see in a newspaper or the headline of a front page article in the standard. I feel like maybe the entire position isn't represented as accurately as it could be, but it really gets your attention. The article describes a scene during a silent protest before the homecoming game October 18th. Trevor Mitchell is the editor in chief and defends his decision to write the article. When the people were yelling them at the protesters, they weren't saying F word you all and you know I don't care about N word. They were they were using the uncensored word. The people yelling they were not censoring themselves. And so I think it was important that we didn't censor ourselves either. Erica Galladay was one of those marchers and agrees with the headline. I really feel like it just draws attention to the issue, which was the point of the march during homecoming. The paper is not managed by the university, but advised by a faculty member. Suzanne Shaw is the vice president of marketing and communications for MSU. They oversee it. We do not censor it. We they have a faculty uh, advisor who guides them along the way to help them. Uh, remain legal. They uh, they did not break any university policy. Students say that the conversation about the racial divide should be open to both sides so they can be handled civilized and not at a tailgate during a football game or written on the front page of the newspaper. Shaw says the entire story was fair and should not tarnish the MSU brand. You can't just stop at the headlines. You have to read the rest of it. And I think if they do that, then they'll understand that this is a great place to be where, the, where freedom of speech is embraced. Mitchell says reaction are mixed, but the issue remains the same. I don't think that that serious of an issue has shown to people what is being said to students on our campus by their students.